Friday marked day two of the New River CTC Invitational in Beckley with five high school games on tap for tonight. Starting this morning as James Monroe was back on the court to face Liberty. Mavericks coming from behind last night to win against Oak Hill. Let's go out to Beckley for this matchup. Raiders with a 30 to 19 lead at halftime in the third quarter. Ethan Hill to AJ Williams. Quick pass to Brayden Howell who gets the basket off the glass and he draws the foul. Liberty goes up by 13, but later the Mavericks would start a rally. Dalton Bradley with the block. Mavericks starting a fast break. Shad Savage with the layup and that puts James Monroe within two, but the Raiders able to maintain the lead in the third quarter. Howell inbounds to Williams who buries this three from the left quarter. Part of his 22 points on the day. Over to the fourth quarter. James Monroe Row continuing to make plays. Josh Burks receives a pass on the right wing. Bounce pass inside to Bradley, who adds two of his 15 points. He also had 12 rebounds for the game. Later, Colin Fox hands off to Savage, who has time to dial up a three from the top of the key. He would connect. But in the final minutes of the game, Hill finding Nate Griffith, who drives in and is able to score on the floater as Liberty gets the win. Final score, 59-44. to the second game of the day, a girls matchup between West Side and Wyoming East. Lady Renegades won two weeks ago in Clear Fork. First quarter, Skyler Davidson bounce pass to Hannah Blankenship. She finds Dacia Summers, who scores off the glass, and the Lady Warriors take the lead. But West Side able to answer. Michaela Morgan to Hannah Toller on the right wing. She sees an opening to drive and score from close range. And the Lady Renegades later take the lead in the opening quarter. Morgan towards the top of the key. She finds Leslie Bailey open for three from the left quarter. Count it. This game will be tied at 17 all after one. Then in the second quarter, Davidson with a long pass ahead to Summers, who has time to score from the left side. Wyoming East would go back in front, but at the other end of the court, Toller starting left at first, but then cuts to her right, going in for the layup, and she draws the foul in the process. But the Lady Warriors go on a run before halftime. Abby Russell goes right to Davidson, over to Blankenship for three from the corner. Count it as Wyoming East wins this matchup. Final score, 60-51. to